Hi, I'm Jen Wellington. I'm a gastroenterology fellow presenting our research from Wake Forest School of Medicine. Gastroparesis associated symptoms are very difficult to treat in many patients. Pyloric therapies have been tried in the past, but patients were not selected on the basis of gastric myoelectrical activity, GMA. We hypothesized that patients with gastroparesis, three cycle per minute GMA, and normal upper endoscopy had functional obstructive gastroparesis and would respond to pyloric therapies. The aims, to determine the effect of pyloroplasty on symptoms, weight, and gastric emptying in patients with gastroparesis and normal three cycle per minute GMA. Patients were selected on the following. Gastroparesis, defined by four hour gastric emptying study. Normal three cycle per minute GMA, determined by electrogastrography and water load test. Endoscopy excluded fixed mechanical obstruction, such as pyloric stenosis, and these patients failed medical treatments for gastroparesis. Patients selected with presumed functional obstructive gastroparesis had endoscopy with botulinum toxin A injection and or balloon dilation. For patients with symptoms relieved after at least two endoscopic pyloric therapies, pyloroplasty was offered. Measures before and after pyloroplasty include weight and major symptoms, and EGG, and four-hour gastric emptying studies. We studied 10 patients, nine women, and one man, average age of 36 years, seven with idiopathic gastroparesis, and three with diabetic gastroparesis. Pyloroplasties performed include Finney, Jaboulet, and heineke michelix configurations, Procedure type was determined by our surgical colleagues. Clinical assessment performed at six months after pyloroplasty. Based on chart review, 90% of patients reported improved symptoms, particularly of nausea and fullness. Average weight increased at 6.4 pounds, which was significant. This slide shows gastric retention before and after pyloroplasty. The x-axis shows baseline four-hour retention before pyloroplasty and after pyloroplasty. The y-axis shows percent meal retained. The average percent meal retained decreased significantly from 47% to 16% after pyloroplasty. This slide shows the running spectral analysis, or RSA, and EGG in patients with functional obstructive gastroparesis before and after pyloroplasty. I'd like to focus on the baseline RSA on the top side of the screen. The x-axis shows frequency in cycles per minute from 0 to 15. The y-axis shows time before and after the water load test. The z-axis shows peaks where the frequencies are present. Before pyloroplasty, at the 3 cycle per minute, there are tall, regular peaks the EGG rhythm strip below and respiration channel show three cycle per minute signal. After pyloroplasty, in the three cycle per minute range, there are peaks, but they are smaller, indicating less power, and there are less of them, indicating reduced three cycle per minute activity. The EGG rhythm strip and respiration channel below also shows reduced three cycle per minute signal. This slide is a further analysis of three cycle per minute GMA and water load test before and after pyloroplasty. The table shows GMA and percent distribution of time at baseline before pyloroplasty and after pyloroplasty. The three cycle per minute distribution of time decreased at before the water load test and at every measured interval after. And this was significant before the water load test and at 20 minutes and 30 minutes. The water load test volumes increased from 430 milliliters to 473 milliliters, but this was not significant. This table also shows gastric myoelectrical activity, however now in percent distribution of power before pyloroplasty and after pyloroplasty. The percent distribution of power also decreased at every measured interval, and this was significant before the water load test and at 20 and 30 minutes after. This slide shows the gastric myoelectrical activity and water load test as percent distribution of power before and after pyloroplasty for each individual patient. On the left is the for pyloroplasty, on the right is after pyloroplasty. The x-axis shows time 
baseline here is before the water load test and 10 minute intervals after. The Y axis shows percent distribution of power. You can see one patient was in the supernormal range and did not change after pyloroplasty. This patient had persistent symptoms after pyloroplasty and her EGG result remained supernormal. For these reasons, a repeat endoscopy showed stenosis of the pyloroplasty site. In conclusion, after two or more successful endoscopic pyloric treatments, pyloroplasty in gastroparesis patients with three cycle per minute gastric myoelectrical activity improved gastric emptying and decreased three cycle per minute GMA, consistent with relief of functional gastric outlet obstruction. Pyloric neuromuscular dysfunction is a key factor in delayed emptying in patients with gastroparesis and normal three cycle per minute gastric myoelectrical activity and represents a gastroparesis subtype, functional obstructive gastroparesis.